join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. Beautiful as Galway City is, it wouldn't be anything without its waterways. The network of rivers and canals that pass under bridges and that weave around the streets of the city lend the place its picturesque character. In that sense, I guess it could be called a kind of Venice of the West of Ireland. These waterways also fulfilled an important industrial function in that they originally powered several mills as the water passed seaward. Many of these old structures, while unused as mills today, are still standing and even preserved and functioning in another capacity. Fishing is an obvious pastime in Galway. Here we are on the Eglinton Canal and this is the Park of Vera Lock. It was built between 1850 and 1852 to connect Loch Corrib to Galway Bay and therefore to allow transportation of merchandise in each direction. The construction of this canal allowed much needed employment during the period of the famine in Ireland. There are also many natural rivers that are connected into this man-made waterway. Some of these rivers are the Jail, the St. Clair, Park of Vera and the Madeira. The Corrib is the main river of Galway, but as far as rivers go, it's quite short at only 6 kilometres long. However, you can see here how powerful it is, the fastest river in Ireland after the Shannon. This is the Fisheries Tower, just as the Corrib flows under Wolf Tone Bridge and out into Galway Bay. The canals and waterways seem to connect the new to the old. We are now at the Canal Basin. From here you can walk right round the coastline through an area known as the Clada and past South Park to the town of Salt Hill, a holiday destination in its own right. And you get a beautiful view back at the medieval town from here and across the mouth of the river and the nicely painted houses on the other side. It's early morning here and beautifully serene. Galway has been a fishing port as long as the settlement has existed. In the days when transport over land was difficult, Galway drew its wealth from the sea, from fishing and from trading. It traded internationally with France, Spain and even the West Indies.
specific sailboat called a Galway Hooker is what this stretch of water was once known for. There were once a fleet of a hundred vessels in the Clada area. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And please feel free to share this video with anyone you think might be interested.